Hey YouTube, um, school's ended today, so I was pretty happy because school sucks, as we all know it. Um, <clears throat> so I was just laying down in bed and looking up at the ceiling, and I no noticed my curtains, and I really liked the way the. Uh, I was thinking <laughs> more like a f filmer, producer, whatever. I loved the way. Um, the light kind of hit off the curtains right here and just bounced back it looks better in real life than in camera I don't know why that happens uh, I wish someone could invent a camera that would make it looks and that would make the color look exactly like they would look in real life you know so it would be much much easier to edit we actually won't have to edit much but um yeah it, I'm still looking at it. It looks way better in real life, but uh, what what are we gonna do? So what I did was turned off my uh, turned on my light so it would get uh, probably give some more light and uh, add some light and maybe it will look in the camera like it looked in real life. Uh, that's why this is kind of a yellowish because uh, I have one of those uh, round lights, not the not the fluorescent ones the fluorescent ones would have worked but uh, the round one didn't work it actually gave it some yellowish feel so when I opened up at Sony Vegas I thought you know what that'd be good for a vintage look so we're going for a vintage look um, so let's start the tutorial first thing we're gonna add is light rays coming through here now whenever you add light rays you don't want stuff to move around that much I'm just gonna turn off uh, the audio. Okay, so what we're gonna do is make the video in, uh, in slow mo. So we're gonna hold down control and stretch out the video as much as we can. Okay, that made the video in slow mo, uh, so the video is not jerky anymore. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, so we're gonna go down to rays. Where the hell are you? Da -da -da -da. Okay gonna add this okay one thing we can see is lights coming from here and lights coming from here so we're gonna turn the threshold up not that much this looks actually pretty good amount okay not that much Okay, that looks good. Exposition. Okay, I'm gonna turn the X full up. Y position. Alright, right now, this is looking good. Alright, so <clears throat> you can give it just a bit of boost, maybe. Okay. Peak let us stand at zero. The others are just fine. So what we did is added a little bit of light r light rays coming from here and a little bit from here. That looks pretty good. What you d uh, what you don't want to do, depending on your video, is wash out the original image and just put white over it. That's just gonna make it look unrealistic and disgusting um so what we're gonna do is go up uh, go down to soft contrast and uh, add warm vignette and um we are going to turn the vignette down to zero just so we can see this better uh, come down to effects again and turn on the contrast because if my if i turn my contrast all the way up this gives it a cool vintage look but it's kind of cartoony and this becomes black and you don't get to see some of the or original stuff you still want to keep it somewhat original so my focus right now is not to turn this into black uh... that's that's much better this is kind of a darker blue so other things are fine now turn the Yeah, they're fine right now, and um, <coughs> we're almost actually no. We gotta do the vignette. 
go to vignette and turn the strength all the way up don't worry we're gonna turn it down a bit turn the width all the way up radius I mean uh, height all the way up corner radius turn it until uh, you see a pretty rounded like this okay uh, yeah turn it all the way up maybe okay then the, turn the strength down until you can only see the r corners slightly and you can't see these lines at all so see I can see the corner slightly right here and I don't see the lines right here that's a good sign and we're done with uh, this part and then we're gonna go up to color correction uh, cur cur color corrector and we're gonna add studio or actually no we're gonna add reset to none sorry about that and then we're gonna add the lows to huh okay one thing to find out what wor works when is just turn it all the way up and see what changes. So now if we turn the lows like all the way to the corner, we can see this changes to m more of the darker colors. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, make it what we want the darker colors to be. We want it to be sort of reddish. All right. Slightly, not that much. Okay, so what we're going to do is turn, take the pointer and put it towards reddish just a bit. Okay the mids uh, as you can see it controls uh, the light stuff so we're gonna make it a little bit orangish okay it gives it orangish fill just a bit slightly down okay and the highs I mean yeah that controls the highlights so we're gonna make that just a bit yellowish just a bit okay so we want our whites to be yellows um, yeah so slightly see it's slightly yellow very very slight to like so slight that you can't even notice right so it gives it that vintage feel okay and what else can we do to this footage if we really want it to go old you know we can add uh, the film effect and make it look really really old like uh, reset to none add uh, some uh, greenish yellowish tint and um, turn the desk down to zero flicker up a little hair zero you know what and what does hair do anyway I don't know why that's called hair but um, Jitterish. We're gonna try to jitter up just a bit. Scratches. Okay. Okay. If you do that and look at it, yeah, that makes it really, really old. But we're not gonna do it because this video is in slow motion, and uh, these effects are also in slow motion. <laughs> so, um. That concludes our tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something about color correction. Hope you guys learned something about rays. And hope you guys learned something about soft contrast. Hope you guys learned that I'm a dumbass. Okay, um, so we're done with this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. I gotta go party.